Well, hello and welcome back here to Sunless Sea. You join us in this port city of Vendabite. Last episode, we started a new character and we helped out someone smuggle their way into the city. Today, we're going to head north a little bit and see if we can find some items we needed to, uh, to get our story going forward. Where are we? Objective, here we go. Right, we need to find some mutter salts from the north to Slivy in London. Uh, we don't actually have that in the way of fuel, so I think we will actually spend some money in the shops here and see if we buy some fuel. Fuel is quite expensive here, but uh, Seems like a good deal, so let's grab a couple of uh, a couple of extra fuel, and then just one sec. Audio settings. Could hardly hear myself. There we go. Okay. Right. Let's get going. Uh, our journey is going to be into completely new territory here for this character and I think to be totally honest with you in our time playing this game we've only gone up this way once so this should be new for us all we are going to uh, head up this way just explore a little bit around uh, the north of Vendabite and then we'll come back and uh, head back to London to get some more resources and carry on with the game but uh, Hopefully we'll find the source of the mutter salt before we do so. And it looks like we're going to pick up a few fragments. It's going to give us a few secrets, which is going to allow us to upgrade our stats anyway. So this is not a bad thing. Uh, right, there's, a, there's been another update in this game since the last time we played it. And you can now get uh, an ending in game and if you remember we picked it we picked a particular ending uh, for this character a goal to aim for but uh, there is now an optional one that you can just pick up in game regardless of the one you selected uh, fed the crew yeah, I always know it makes me nervous when I see that one I just wonder to what boreal reach is this snow touch it and it puffs to vapor your crew huddles in the warmth of pipe and funnel. This is new. Ooh, that is looks dangerous. I remember getting attacked by those before, and I'd rather not. If we can avoid it, let's have a quick look at the map. Sensors arch. Let's head towards there, and let's send a bat out as well. Yep, let's get away from that. Let's just get away from that because we are no way big enough to deal with something like that. Going to regret spending this uh, fuel, but uh, I think it's going to be a good thing. Uh, a sluggish wave. The ship pitches. Go away. Go away. Go away. There we go. Right, with that. A port, and we might just make it alive. We've discovered Andergard Harbour, and we're there. Excellent. Okay, so we can explore the town, we can gather intelligence, we can do shore leave, which is going to be a straightforward challenge it's going to cost us 50, 50 echo mind i don't think i particularly want to play it so right let's uh gather some intelligence that gives us a new port report and explore the town the wind speaks you fall into a reverie as you wander the shore there are words in the wind a story of sorts of a gate in the north of a pale light that began there of a drowned light that will end there in high wilderness that other ships may sail you lift your eyes on the wall of a salt work someone has scrawled. Is there a sea more sunless? 
Okay, so we we have gained Storm's attention. Right, interesting. Right, continue. Right, we can just do the shore leave thing now. Shops. We'll buy mutter salt for a Z story. We don't have a Z story. That's not very helpful. So we need to find a Z story. Wherever one of those may be. Okay. So we now have a goal. We have a, a, an additional goal now. We need to find a, a Z story. That will allow us to get some mutter salt, which will get us a step further to finding the bones of our father. Uh, is there anything in the shipyard? Only what we've already got. And I think we're pretty much done here. Yep. Got a port report at Hunter's Keep, a port report at Vendabite, a port report at Wither. That is going to give us a decent amount of money when we get in. We got that spider silk which will sell well. We got six fuel which hopefully will be just enough to get us home. Let's just check the shops one more time. We need Z stories to buy fuel. So bit of a, a wasted journey but still we've learned more. Let's have a quick look at the map. Okay, we've, we've basically looks like we found our way up to the corner. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down through the arch, barrel down through here, and then straight down to London. And we shall get a hand in those port reports, make some money, see what we can do from there. So, given the fact that we have 63 hit points and these uh, living icebergs appear to have 400, I'm going to avoid them for now as much as I can little bit annoying coming down through here because the uh, the interface gets in the way of a lot of uh, when you're heading south but we shall do our best we've got five fuel hopefully that'll be enough to get us home if not we shall has to have to call in at Vendabite and spend some more money fed the crew three food left and there doesn't seem to be as many bats out here as there used to be now. How am I doing on secrets? Speak to. I can't increase my iron yet. Okay, I don't have a secret. Can't proposition her yet. And we've asked her what she wants from life before. Let's do it again. It's like a flit at Z, right? Know what to tell you, what to say or do. And know what to kick you downstairs just because you got a bit tall. I'll be a faithful officer, but put me ashore in a shadow, and I won't forget you. Right, so we have an excuse to go east, which is great. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I mean, I'm really glad I'm able... Oh, excuse me. Run away. Run away more. Yeah, we'll get away. Okay, excellent. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I am enjoying playing this uh, this new uh, this new release. I I, I think it's uh, it's coming together very well. How are we doing for fuel? We got four fuel, and one fuel has got us down. Yeah, I think we're going to have enough fuel to get us home. Hey, it's everybody's favourite bats. Let's get away with them to start off with. Oh dear, I can't fight them. Oh dear, this is not working out well for us. Let's dock this. <laughs> All right, shops. How are we doing? For fuel? We're doing right for fuel and supplies. Uh, we just need to... There we go. They've gone away. Now let's get out of here quickly. That didn't work out very well for us. So we've got some repairs that need to be done. 
but we shall deal with that when we get into into London itself. Uh, reason why I didn't want to fight the bats was because there was uh, another one of those icebergs behind us, and I didn't want to get distracted by the bats and fight the icebergs, but uh, they did an awful lot of damage to us. They did about 20 points of damage, which actually probably about 25, which is no good at all. But, um, let's slow down a little bit, save some fuel, and see where we are. We are almost home. I think we're going to make it quite uh, easily. Let's, let's sound the all clear. Now, just want to get round to... And there they are again. Come on. We damaged them, but... They're damaging us more. We are going to lose this, I'm afraid. Because we can't get round to face them. There, finally. Okay. But that has left us really badly damaged. But it's going to give us some much needed food, I should imagine. Okay. Into the pot with them. Gained one terror. We have one supplies, which is good because we're out of supplies. Right. That was more work than I was expecting it to be. But here we are in London, so excellent. Um, one thing this this ship definitely needs is a rear-mounted weapon. And it, uh, problem is we're going to spend most of our, our earnings so far just resupplying, so this is going to be interesting, to say the least. But the feel of the game has changed considerably between the, the releases. This is... Uh, that fight was totally different from fighting the bats beforehand. Beforehand, the bats were really easy, but they were all over the place, and it was really, really uh, uh, well. It was boring more than anything else. But that was that is actually going to be a challenge. But here we are, coasting back into London. I might as well use some more fuel and get there quicker. So we're not doing too badly. We made it back, which for a first journey, not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, let's collect messages from the Harbour Master. Okay, we have a free evening. Something has changed underneath and somebody wants to sign on. Okay. Right. Let's take this job. This is a, a useful thing. Very fine evening to you, Captain. My what you might call mentor. He's very fond of adventurous sea captains. He'd like to offer you what he might call a dispensation on account of he is so fond of sea captains. Behind the blind bruiser on the dock stands a dray piled high with fuel and supplies. We can accept a dispensation, we can inquire further, or we can refuse. Let's inquire further. He runs a, a very fine and very liberal establishment just across the river that is much patronised by sailors and men of wit and vinegar. A public house. And there is no obligation to speak of. My patron would hope only that you might remember him kindly. And I suppose that if the opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness, I don't imagine he'd refuse your offer. Let's accept it. It's going to give us another job and... Let's face it, we really need the supplies, so that's that's not too bad. Right. We've gained one times Menace's Suspicion. But we gained ten fuels and five supplies. Well, my patron hopes that you find these little gifts to your liking, and he expects that perhaps someday you might choose to call on him at the Medusa's head. 
Should you should that day come, we will make you very welcome and give you safe conduct, what you might require. Good evening to you. He salutes, and is gone. Okay. Right, so we can't move any further with our father. Let's go to our lodgings and read the morning papers. I'm not going to read that again. I've read that so many times, but it gives us uh, an extra supplies and it gives us recent news, which is great. We can rest for 10 echo. And yeah, that's probably a good idea because uh, nightmares are horrible things. So we've gained a restful night. We've lost one terror and we lost 10 echo. So not too bad. Uh, Okay, let's go back into the city. Right. The university. We can oh we can go there with a secret, that's interesting. We will probably do that. Uh what I want to do is see the new recruits. So we can engage the brisk campaigner. Yeah, it looks like he's got a or oh, she Got a story. She's a doctor. And creates hearts and iron. I think this is definitely worth signing on. So we lost 50 Echo, but we've gained one brisk campaigner. And. Okay, so. Let's put them into the crew roster. And that increases our hearts and our iron. Our doctor aboard trait which is going to help and speak to we can use that secret but I want to use that secret in the university so back into London and let's visit the Admiralty's office okay so let's hand in uh, let's hand in these uh, port reports so Visit the Hunter's Keep, we gained a f point of fuel, we gained Admiralty's Feather, and we gained Fire Echo. Right, fuel is new, that's nice. Um, the Vendor might one. Fuel and 10 Echo, very nice. And finally, Wither. Okay, we gained fuel, we gained 20 Echo, very nice indeed. Okay, alright. Is there anything else in particular you need? The Admiral will see you now. You're ushered into his office off Mansion's Pyre, a cramped room with a vast desk. He surveys you across the desk. Ah, yes, the merchant captain of whom we hear such complicated things. The Admiral will purchase intelligence from you. So, the Admiral will provide a little fuel to cover your where one point of favor will get you two to three fuel okay submit vital intelligence we have no vital intelligence submit port reports we've done that submit a relevatory chart speak moves in the great game ask if there's anything else he needs let's go right. speak to our agent there and return we'll see what you that you're rewarded so we need to um, retrieve strategic information from Crimean Canal south along the coast from London. That sounds like a, a good next goal. Alright, so I think we're done here. So let's go into the university. The university has inexhaustible appetite for secrets, Z specimens, and other tidbits of esoteric lore. Provide a secret to prove yourself worthy of entry. So we gained a pages, we've gained a twist in our tail, we're now favours antiquarian, but we've lost our secret, which is perfectly fine by me. So the alarming scholar is mercurial to say the least, a creature of sudden moods and provoking teeth. Possibly her, is it her appointment to the university maritime liaison was precautionary to keep his? Is it his? Raise a sharp enthusiasm from causing too many injuries in the facility. Ah, yes, the scholar breathes, whis whispers breathily. I have a budget for acquisitions. What have you brought me? 
Right, so we have no searing and ignorance, dread surmises, well basically we've got nothing so let's go. But still, we've got in the university which is good, we've got in with the uh, dark spe uh, spectacled admiral as well which is going to uh, open up a load of stories for us. But uh, what we need, really need to do is uh, uh, repair, but first of all let's go to the shops and let's see what we can sell. Um, We can buy quite a lot, that's the one I want. Um, we could sell our advice for captains for zero, which I might do just to get rid of that. But, uh, uh, like our candles, fuel, none of that. Wolf snack exchange. There we go. Our bolts of cider, spider silk. We can sell that for 50. That's good. And. Alright, so let's uh, look. Beforehand, you used to be able to sell casks of mushroom wine up in Bender Bite. Um, we buy them for 21. We'll have to see what we sell them for there. Right, so what I would like to get here is a weapon, but I think what we want to do here is go and repair first. So go into London. To the dry dock. Okay, so I don't want to visit the Admiralty's fuel stores. Okay, uh, L&H will do a fair job for a decent price, but they have a reputation for cutting corners. Uh, 75 Echo. Uh, um, C&H have a reputation for reliable work for a slightly higher price. This will completely repair our hull for 100 echo now uh, we can use up our favors at the admiralty's yard to get the repair done for 25 now to be totally honest with you i don't want to do that alternatively because we don't have the wretched mob yet mog yet we could uh, spend some supplies to uh, repair our hull but we don't know how much it's going to repair our hull but we do know it's going to cost us three supplies so 30, let's give it a go, let's see. So we gain five terror. Rats sweep across your ship like a tide, day and night, their tiny tools click. The crew step over them cautiously. Eventually the rat tide withdraws. How good a job have they done? So they've gained, we've prepared 54 hull for, th well, it's effectively 30 echoes. That's three supplies. Now we need to buy some more supplies now. Oh, it's five supplies. Okay, but still, that was not a bad job. Let's go to the shops and let's pick up some supplies. I want that one, I think. Fuel, flare, supplies. Here we go. Uh, they've put the price up. Oh, they've put the price up. That wasn't such a good deal because they've put the price up. Never mind. That's f okay. That's five. Let's go for six supplies. That's probably the best we're going to do. That's got rid of a lot of our money, though, unfortunately. Uh, still, uh, we're heading. We're going to head south of the next uh, next run, which is going to. Um, is there? There's easier mobs down there, so we should be all right. Uh, we're still in search of a Z story. Alright, so I think we're running out of time now. So I'm going to call this an episode. Is there anything else we want to do quickly? Um, auxiliary bridge forward. Looks like this particular ship does not have an aft facing weapon. Uh, unless actually we can buy one. Let's have a quick look at the shops. Uh, A Ratus Faber Assistant. Usable in combat, repairs 10 hull damage instantly. That's interesting. Um, House of Vision. Okay, this is the one I want. So that's a, a deck weapon, a forward weapon, a deck weapon, a forward weapon, a forward weapon, an aft weapon, which we can't afford. 
Right, it looks like we're not buying an aft weapon at this point because they are so very expensive. So what I think we'll have to do is learn to go in reverse when we uh, we run into mobs. But what can we buy? I wouldn't mind buying um, that harpoon gun again, but uh, I don't think we can just yet. Still, something to aim for. Um, House of Vision, we can buy it with an optical which gives us plus one mirrors, but that would take a lot of our money. I don't think we're buying anything just yet, but uh, we're fueled and provisioned and we're ready to set off to the south, which we shall do so in the next episode. Um, so, right, we've, we've explored a bit more, we've taken some damage, we've repaired that damage, uh, we've learned, and we're about to head off south to the next episode. Until then, I've been Simon Parsons, this has been Sunless Sea, thank you, and good night.